here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all. Today we are, good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Oven Pantry. And uh, today we are going to make something that is going to be so good. Uh, and it's going to be low carb, uh, gluten free, no sugar added. I've got, uh, y'all know I buy pork loins, the whole pork loins. Well, this one I have cut in half. And uh, I just washed my hands again since I touched it. This one I cut in half, and I'm going to make chops out of it. And my pork loin is partially frozen. And when I made my... Uh, you meant one-inch pieces. Well, ever high there. Yeah, that's about an inch. That's good. Good thick ones oh, is what okay. you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. When I made my Philly cheese steak, a lot of people said if I leave my uh, steak a little frozen that it would slice easier. So I've started doing that with my chicken breast, with my pork, with everything. So this is still a little icy in the middle because I had it in the freezer. So I'm gonna get, uh, probably I want one, two, three, I want about six chops because that's what will go in my pan back here. And I've got my big cast iron skillet out. I think it's gonna make more than six but I may not cook them all. Let's see. Because I may not, I want them all to go in my pan at one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little one. Okay. Put my knife over there. Wash my hands, because I got good hot soapy water. All right, I'm going to salt and pepper these on each side. That one is thick, honey. This one can be yours. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I like thick chops. Let me lay them out on here. Yeah, I do too. They're much juicier. Because you, if you do real thin chops, you can overcook them very quickly. It doesn't take pork a long time to cook. Okay. So I'm just going to salt and pepper these. I'm just going to pepper them on one side. Now I've got my skillet on a medium high behind me. All right, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Put my chops in here. All right. That didn't cut through good. Now then. Alright. I'm waiting for my pan. I'm doing all this waiting for my pan to get hot. So, uh. Alright. You can come right over here, baby. Because I think it's probably... It takes cast iron skillet a minute to, uh, to heat up. But once it gets hot, it's hot. Um, so it's not quite hot enough yet so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do now with my dishcloth I want to wash this table off good alright I'm fixing to bring other stuff over here while I'm waiting on my I wrote my recipe down I took a recipe and changed it up a lot. So it's really my recipe now. Uh, but I got the basis for it from a, another source, uh, from a book. But anyway, it's going, let me turn around like this so you can see. All right, it's gonna have peppers, onions, red wine vinegar, stevia, cucumber, pineapple. This is gonna be our pineapple salsa. It's gonna be Southwestern pork loin chops with pineapple salsa. So this is gonna be my salsa ingredients. And this is what we're gonna to make to pour over the chops. It's, it called for chicken broth, but I'm using pineapple juice because I didn't have any chicken broth. Lime juice, garlic powder. It calls for a chili pepper. I didn't have that. So I'm just using red pepper flakes, 
cumin and uh, chili powder. So this is gonna be a sauce, this is gonna be our salsa. So we're gonna get all this put together in a minute and I think my pan is hot enough. So I'm gonna put my chops in it. And I'm only gonna cook as many as will fit in my pan. Ooh, that's a big one there. I might should have cut it in, in half. But we're gonna cook it for a little bit, so it'll be all right. All right, okay, I'm get, I thought I could get six in there. All right, now I've got this on medium high. And I'm gonna let it cook till it browns. Let me turn this light on. Till it browns, then we'll flip it over and we'll let it brown on the other side. Now, honey, uh, what I wanna do now is get my sauce ready to go over that after it browns. So, I'm gonna put, this is like a third of a cup of pineapple juice. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of lime juice. Now this is real limes. Uh, I have some and I squeezed them into this little thing right here. So that's real lime juice. All right, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of garlic powder. Don't y'all love my little spoons? Uh, Hunter and Hannah, my grandson and his wife, gave them to me. One says grateful, one says loving, prayerful, and family. And that's what it's all about. So, all right, one teaspoon. And I use these every day. I love them. One teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of my uh, chili powder, and I may find that I do a little bit more. And this is cumin, I'm gonna do a fourth, I mean a half teaspoon of cumin, because after all, this is Southwestern. And I'm gonna do a pinch of red pepper flakes, because Kale's here, he's gonna be eating it, and I don't want it to be too hot for him. So I'm just gonna mix all this together. And when our chops brown on both sides, we're gonna put this mixture over our chops and let it cook a few minutes. And I'm gonna do my salsa in another pan, in another skillet. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here and let that hang out. All right, check my chops. Because I don't want them to get too brown. They're doing really well. Alright, now in this skillet, we're going to make our salsa. I need to chop my... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I hope the battery is not dead in this. I want to chop up my uh, cucumbers real fine. So I'm gonna put it in this little chopper. We got this cucumber out of the garden, y'all. Our garden has started coming in, so we got zucchinis and we got tomatoes and cucumbers. Green beans. Green oh, y'all. Snap beans, onions. Like Italian green beans are little flat ones. I can 13 and a half quarts yesterday. They're Roma twos. I Roy, love them. Roy and Kale went out in the garden. I thought they were just going to have like enough to cook. They came back in with this big old basket full. I said, Ooh, we got to can those. So we did, and we had 13 and a half uh, quarts. It's not dead. All right, that's my cucumbers I've got ground up. And I'm just gonna put them in here with my pineapple because it's all going together. All right, 
And I think I'm going to do my onions in here, my red onion, because it's all going in the same pan. All right. Uh, let me get this out of the way. I put, put all my things together so I could keep up with what goes where. All right, I'm going to turn my pork chops. Nope, they're not ready. The one in the middle is. It always gets brown first. All right. I'm on, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm going to let them keep, uh, keep browning. Did you put it. those pepper flakes in? I'm, I missed it. Yeah, I put pepper flakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put it in my sauce. Bag. Yeah, I just missed yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching you do it, but I'm not always thinking yeah. about what you're doing. Well, when you're concentrating on the camera, I'm keeping the camera still, and yeah, what angle you need to get, yeah, you miss, you forget. All right. Now we're going to do a half of a red onion. So I'm just going to do it in my chopper. Because you don't want big old chunks. You just want everything kind of small. All right. Oops. Let me get my blade. And it does it. The recipe that I'm going with, that I'm partially using, doesn't call for peppers, but I'm going to put peppers in it. All right, there we go. All right. I love this little chopper. My best friend LaWanda gave this to me. I love it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put all this right here in the skillet. I forgot that I had turned the skillet on. I'm going to turn it down real low. All right. That's what, that looks like some goody stuff. I'm telling you, you wait till I get through with it. Okay, now I'm going to do my peppers. Um... Uh, I'm not going to do the, probably two or three peppers is all that it's going to take. These are little sweet peppers. Yeah, they are. And they don't have any seeds in them. They're the little mini peppers. Uh, I get them at Walmart. They taste like the, uh, I'm putting red because I want the color. They taste similar, well, just like the the red, yellow, um, and orange sweet peppers that you can buy. All right, maybe I'll do one more. Okay. I know my pork chops are getting ready to turn. All right. Perfect. Now, because the one in the center gets browner, okay. I think that's, oh, now, I'm going to do two tablespoons to start off with of my red wine vinegar, and I may add more, I don't know, let's see, alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back up, and let this be cooking, I want to cook this down, and I'm going to put um, I'm going to put some stevia, brown stevia in it, and I'm going to start off with that uh, two heaping tablespoons of brown stevia, and I'm just going to let it sit here and just cook kind of like on medium, 
until it cooks down because I want my pineapple to break down. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna taste of it in a minute, see if I got enough of my pepper flakes in it, or enough stevia. Now you can use monk fruit, allulose, uh, whatever sweetener you like. You can even use sugar if you're not watching your sugar. So, uh, I'm gonna taste of this. Uh, That's going to be good, y'all, when it gets done. All right. We just going to let that cook. I got that a little bit more stevia to it. All right. I got to let my chops uh, brown. And we'll be back. This is going to continue cooking. And so we'll be back in probably five, maybe ten minutes. Grandmama, you really want to have brown on I these chops, I don't you? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. if y'all remember, this is our pineapple juice for chicken. You can use chicken broth if you want to. Uh, pineapple juice, red pepper flakes, uh, cumin, uh, chili powder, garlic. So I'm going to pour it over my chops. Mm. And I'm going to let them cook here. And I've got it on like six now. I'm going to let it cook in this until my salsa gets ready. Then when my salsa gets ready, I've got to decide if I'm going to put it in here with this or if I'm just going to put it over it. And I wanted a little bit more element of flavor to mine. So I got my dark brown stevia out. And I put... Uh, Two tablespoons, so that's four tablespoons of stevia all together. Two tablespoons of dark brown, two tablespoons of light brown, because the dark brown gives it so much more flavor. All right, we're just kind of cooking this down. We want it to kind of caramelize. So while this is cooking, that's cooking, then we're just going to wait until my salsa gets ready. And this reduces, I want this salt, this salt, uh, this juice, the sauce that I just put over it to reduce some. So we'll see y'all back in a few minutes. You're smelling up the whole kitchen, Grandmama. <laughs> oh, y'all, I tasted of this sauce that I put over this. It is so good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pineapple salsa that I have made. I'm going to put it over my pork chops like that. I'm going to spread it about, and I'm going to let it finish reducing, and I'm going to let it kind of caramelize over these chops, and uh, that, I don't know how long that'll take, maybe four or five minutes, but when we get through here, we are going to have one delicious pork chop. All right, y'all. Granny Ma. Granny Ma, Granny Ma. I want y'all to look at this. I want you. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh. Salsa pork steaks. Oh. You talk about good. Mm-mm-mm. Gonna have one for tomorrow. It's left over there. I don't know. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm gonna pour this over this. I'm gonna get it all set up for my thumbnail picture, and then we'll be back and we'll... And it'll be pretty by the time I get through. We'll taste of it for you. All right, y'all. Grandma, it's dangerous for you to be between me and that. Table. I know, that I know. Y'all look. This is Southwestern pork loin steaks with pineapple salsa. Mmm. Um, y'all look at that. I have been smelling it. So good. All right. We're going to take this little piece here. And I want to get uh, some of that juice. What am I going to do with my spoon? Okay, I'll get another one. Now, this is my favorite part right here. Is this pineapple salsa with some of that. Now, you want to leave enough juice in it that you can uh, have some to put over your pork chop. 
You, now, can, you know I have to have a little bitty bite. You can talk to them in the morning, cut your own. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot baby. Mm. When I eat meat, I have to cut it in little old bitty bites or I can't chew it. Oh my, y'all. Mm. Mm. That is good. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you. Now, you can do this with peach, you can do it with pineapple, you can do it with mango. Whatever kind of salsa you want to make, we just love. Cherry would be delicious with this pork. Wow. And it's low glycemic because you're only getting a small amount <coughs> mm -hmm. of, of the pineapple with each serving. Mm. So good. And it's pineapple in its own juice. You mm. can use fresh pineapple if you want to, but... No sugar added. Mm -mm. No. Delicious. All right, y'all. Make you some Southwestern pork loin steaks with pineapple salsa. Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in your healthy food. We'll see y'all next time. Mm. All right.